Hey man, this Ted Politics back again, man. And um, this video right here is gonna be supposedly exposing Beyonce, uh, her bodyguard, is exposing her for her unliving other celebrities. Now this finna get deep, cause I ain't know Beyonce had a bunch of stuff going on like this. I knew she had some Illuminati stuff going on, but this is very sinister. Before we get into this thing too deep though, man, if you're interested in how to make money, save money, and build generational wealth, make sure you get at me, man. Me and my financial agent is like definitely making people's lives way better, man. You know, making brighter futures, making it so that, you know, you can actually retire and not just think about retiring. Um, the, this right here, that's one of the things you'll be learning about, that right there which is the cash flow quadrant. If you don't know anything about that, you'll be learning a little something about that. So that's just a little insight of what is to come. Get at me. Now let's get into this video. Oh, my bad, y'all. I do that every time. My bad. Let's get into this video. Jay-Z like, will do come anything in. to destroy anyone who speaks out against him. Remember, all the receipts, all the proof, I still have it. Good job, welcome back to another reaction on this channel, man. Today we're going to have a conversation about a very interesting person in the industry, okay? Now, some people know her as Queen B, some people know her as the Queen of Witchcraft, all right? <laughs> that distinction is up to you it's after not. you watch this video. But we're about to be speaking about Beyonce. Now, apparently, one of Beyonce's ex-bodyguard came out and exposes her for unaliving certain celebrities. Now, we made videos about Beyonce and Jay-Z and their occultic and satanic leadership in the music industry and we've even had ex-band members or people who worked with Beyonce in band or assistants come out and literally expose her for practicing witchcraft. See, my baby, we've had uh, videos of Beyonce literally saying that literally saying that before she gets on stage she feels like there is another spirit taking over her body. Beyonce is a very very interesting character too. to look at so I'm very curious to see what this bodyguard has to say. If you guys are new to the channel make sure you do leave a like down below and subscribe. Without further ado man let's hop right into it man. A man claiming to be Beyonce's former bodyguard is speaking out against months, Beyonce and Jay-Z. And he claims that the power couple has destroyed and will literally destroy anyone who comes in their path. I know so much on how you got what you are. That's nasty. Stop. How you stepped on a many people. There are a whole lot of allegations being made lately about it's Beyonce and her alleged right. evil side. Who claims that alleged. she alleged. steals ideas from <laughs> small <laughs> artists alleged. who about Hollywood sacrifices and witchcraft. And now we're hearing from Don't, her former nasty. bodyguard, Uncle Ron, that Beyonce and her husband Jay-Z have threatened, intimidated, bullied, and possibly unalived people they perceived as competition. Hey. You know, when you're early in your career, you feel that you have to listen. And when you buck, they buck harder. And they make threats. Well, you and it, you those it, you threats are huge ones. Of course, wow. the Beehive is now going after it's Uncle Ron, and they're accusing him of being a liar and a clout chaser. However, there are also a lot of fans who think there must be at least some truth to all these allegations that are stacking up against Beyonce. So, is the bodyguard telling the truth? Did Beyonce Don't really eliminate all of her competition? <laughs> Let's investigate. I find, it, I find it so funny how Beyonce and Jay are so blatant about their affiliation Don't with Uncle as far as it comes to Masonic uh, ties, as far as it comes to their mas uh, occultic practices, you can hey. literally see in certain performances, hey, hey, they're hey, open hey. and honest about them. Right now you can get a hundred hit loops for only one dollar. That's right, this is the craziest deal we've ever done in unison history. A hundred hey. hit loops, melody loops, drum This little girl is so disrespectful, bro. Out there. <laughs> right. I find so, that shit to be very- She's so disrespectful, bro. Huh, get your hand out your mouth. See, don't do that. See, that's disgusting. You spitting. Stop. That's disgusting. All that's disgusting. You supposed to eat the food, not spit it back out. You is nasty. Stop doing that. Stop doing that. Bruh, my daughter is disrespectful as fuck. She could do some shit and literally be looking at you and just keep doing it, bro. Like, I'm telling you to stop and you look at me right in my eyes and doing it. Like, you do not care what I'm saying. Like, that's fucked up. Stop. 
<laughs> Stop, man. I'm trying not to laugh because when you laugh, they make it. They you make them think it's right, but it ain't right. Y'all just keep Very interesting. Let's continue. I said. How you guys? Please stop. Carrie Hilson's career. Oh, because she said something about Beyonce has been under a lot of scrutiny lately <laughs> okay, after her yeah. controversial concert in Dubai reigniting years old Illuminati allegations. Beyonce is also getting backlash for being a money grabber because she agreed to perform in Dubai for 24 million, despite the long history of human rights violations over there. To give you just a few examples, in the UAE where Dubai is located, <laughs> citizens don't have the right to change their government, and the country has numerous laws that discriminate against women, migrants, and LGBTQ plus individuals. Flogging and stoning like... are legal forms of punishment for adults. Women can't marry without the permission of a male guardian, and being gay is illegal and punishable by death. Yeah. So as you can imagine, the fact that Beyonce, who always preaches about female empowerment and constantly Such borrows from queer culture, decided to make a live comeback in Dubai of all places rubbed a lot of people wrong. The treatment of women in Dubai and right across the Gulf countries is out of the medieval era. On top of that, of course, Beyonce has made a huge thing about, you know, slavery in the United States, and quite rightly, but, you know, in the Middle East and in Dubai, there is a form of modern slavery where migrant laborers are kept under appalling conditions in violation of international labor organization standards. Again, it just is completely contradictory to what she stands for, and I bet that hotel where she performed, it was built by migrant labor laborers under appalling conditions. However, we're now hearing from Uncle Ron, the man who claims he's Beyonce's former bodyguard, that Beyonce performing in Dubai for a fat check is actually 100% on brand with her and Jay-Z. Because they will... I mean, if you think about it, Beyonce performs in the United States for a fat check. <laughs> it's the same thing. <laughs> People don't respect the immigrants here either. Every single thing that was, every single thing that was built in this country was about on the backs of immigrants. So I don't see the, I don't see the difference, honestly speaking. Really do anything to stay on top. Uncle Ron recently exposed Beyonce and Jay Z for ruining the careers of many young artists, including Carrie Hilson. And it's very interesting that he decided to bring up Carrie because a lot of people have completely forgotten about how horribly she was treated during her beef with Beyonce. To give you some context, I didn't even know she was beefing. With, that I didn't even know she was beefing with Beyonce. One thing I did notice though that Carrie came and fucking went real quick, and I love Carrie. You know what I'm saying? My name is Carrie. I'm so very fly. Oh man, it's a little bit scary. Oh yeah, that bit was bad. I was on. I was on. <laughs> After someone leaked Carrie's alleged diss track about Beyonce called Turning Me On. Although Carrie didn't mention Beyonce by name, Beyonce's fans were convinced that some of the lyrics were a direct reference to her. Specifically, the part where Carrie sings, Your vision, cloudy, if you think that you the best. You can dance, she can sing, but need to move it to the left. The song also contains some lyrics seemingly shading Sierra. However, in an interview from 2009, Carrie denied she dissed either one of them. It's a hot verse. I love the verse. Um, yes, I heard specific names being brought up no it's not about that no you know it, that was not where the energy was I'm, I'm not retracting or, or uh, you know feeling some kind of way about how people feel uh, that I'm doing you know that I did this I'm not it, I guess that's the only way I could say it I'm not retracting it's just that was not never the energy behind it but then the feud was reignited in 2011 when Carrie refused a reporter's request at the Soul Train Music Awards to hold an issue of Juicy Magazine with Beyonce and Jay-Z on the cover come on the magazine just shout out Juicy Mag and though Beyonce herself never publicly responded to Carrie, she is rumored to have used her power and influence in the industry to blackball Carrie's career. <laughs> Besides that, Beyonce's fans started Very harassing possible. Carrie both online and in real life. And the hate got so bad that two years after the Juicy Magazine incident, Carrie had to beg the Beehive to leave her alone. You have no idea what your hateful words could do to someone's spirit, Carrie tweeted. Years of verbal abuse from strangers all day long, enough is enough. And although Carrie denied she did- You know what I, like I said earlier, both. I learned that if you getting picked on like that, then you got the Jesus factor because first of all, they they was hating Jesus the same way. Jesus wasn't doing nothing wrong to nobody. So if you ain't doing nothing wrong to nobody and you getting hate for that shit, suck that shit. Love that shit because that's really the ultimate form of love. We know they hating because they ain't got no, they don't know what else to do with themselves. They don't know how to be genuine. They don't know how to 
you know, appreciate and apply good things. So, you know, don't look at hate as bad. Look at hate as good, bro. Because you can't be hating if you ain't doing good. Period. Stop all that goddamn crying. You ain't gonna be yelling at me. Yelling at me, girl. All that yelling. We over here trying to do a show. We live and you want to act up. Yeah, you know, stop, you know, because you're getting fed. You over here, you can't eat faster than, no faster. Half of the time, you spitting it back out anyways. Like, you spit it out three times before you even eat it, for real. Then you put your hand in the way, move your hands out of the way. You know what I'm saying? You making this difficult. You making this last longer than what it got to. It's your fault. Your fault. It's your fault your face got to get cleaned off. It's your fault that the bill dirty. It's your fault that your hands keep getting dirty. Because you don't want to listen to me. You want to try to do stuff your way. Like, you the daddy. Like, you the grown up. Mm-hmm. See? Fussing at me and all. What's wrong with you? I'm the adult here, ma'am. Yeah. I'm feeding you. Yeah. You can get mad all you want. It ain't going to change nothing. With your, with your one tooth. You trying to eat faster than you can. You don't even know how to. You don't even know how to eat for real. You don't even know what you doing. You don't even know what you doing. <laughs> you mad at me because you don't know what you doing. Like what? Come on. What do they do that? At? What do they do that? At? What do they do that? At? Anyone? She seemingly hinted that Beyonce did do something that caused her to react the way she did in the Soul Train Award. As far as whatever you know, you just look at Beyonce's performances in your nose. Like you got music videos. Like, you can see that you can talk, bro. She's a bad guy. I had my man. reasons, Carrie wrote on Twitter. It's been years. Just chop it up to your ignorance and find me out and let it go. But the attacks on Carrie did stop it. She later again it. took to Twitter to claim Beyonce's fans were literally she throwing Beyonce's Beyonce CDs at her on the street. In the upcoming years, Damn. Carrie tried her best to distance herself from the drama. However, her career never fully recovered. Right. But then, like in 2020, Carrie admitted in an interview that she was forced to release the diss track about Beyonce. Up about serious threats she received at the height of the drama. It's the part she paid, you know, when. You'll be alright. You know, when you're early in your career, you feel that when you have to listen. Way, so you get and feeling. when you buck, they buck harder. And they make threats. And those. <laughs> and you, you. You know what I mean? You don't, you don't feel like you have a choice. I really I wonder what those threats like are. <laughs> And to this day, many fans believe the whole thing was an orchestrated ploy to destroy Carrie's career because she was a threat to Beyonce. Because Carrie is an undeniably Stop. talented singer. She's gorgeous and she actually writes her own songs. So Y'all it's pretty clear why Beyonce would see her as competition. But Carrie is not the only one whose career you was sleepy. allegedly you ended sleepy. by Beyonce and Jay Z. And some yep. people even believe that Jay Z was involved in the death of Aaliyah, another multi-talented Alright, we done. I just said we were done. PayPal works with the Man, tools you already you. use. Like big commerce, WooCommerce, and more. Get paid. Save time. My baby is a whole cream puff other artists. Smell a man like who peas. goes by the name of Uncle Ron yeah, and Frankie you know, Stewart's Beyonce bodyguard recently went on TikTok body. and made a series Little of explicit allegations against Beyonce and Jay-Z. Uncle Ron specifically mentioned Carrie Hilson and he accused Beyonce shirt, and Jay-Z of destroying many artists over the years. Carrie Hilson is Beyonce's bodyguard. Beyonce 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 is Beyonce's bodyguard. Alright, so you want to finish the food and what you done confusing me and stuff. My son really, my son really likes Batman. <laughs> now he really likes Batman. Uh, <laughs> he got the Batman mask, the Batman action figure, the Batman... Uh, man really likes Batman. So much. That's funny. On how you get what you are. Batman is so dispenser. How you stepped on a many people. Guys, 
clearly she knows. <laughs> you got all the attitude. You got to calm down. <laughs> Hey, 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 where's your issue? All right, y'all, y'all shut up. I ain't even gonna be able to do an outro. Alright y'all, I'm done. <laughs> she really caring. Oh, come on. She hungry. She want that bar. <laughs>